Hello, I will show you how to use Thingcell and how to make presentation in Thingcell, waterfall presentation. So let's go. First of all, uh, we go here on this option insert, then on elements, click it here and uh, build down waterfall. Then make it here. So we can see how it looks and we want to go in our data sheet. Double click. And for example, uh, we want to make, uh, we want to evaluate profit for the first quarter of uh, 2020. And we have to start with the 2019 as a reference. What uh, we have to do? First of all, in this category, in this section, we have to type it here, text. 2019 then January February March first quarter 2020 and then we will uh, type it here our values for example 300 millions January for example 50 30 and uh, we had lost 20 millions and for the first quarter only what we have to do is to put sign equal then we will see how it looks now what we can do we can uh, for example make a presentation that our profit for January comes from different sources and uh, we can present that in different colors. How we can do that? Just to go on data sheet. And here we can say that we had, uh, for example, profit from sales, 30. Profit from uh, renting, 15. And the profit from shares, 5 million. So how it looks? you can see it is in a different colors um, what we can do next next uh, we can present for example our profit or loss uh, in different colors how we can do that go on data sheet and um, we have to make our series here so total profit And lost in a profit I will type 50 30 and in lost minus 20 now we can see how it looks okay it looks nice what we can do next we can um, for example, uh, for 2019, we can uh, choose another color. Just click here and um, choose, for example, this one. What we can do next, we can type, we can click on the right side of our mouse and we can add total difference arrow. What we can do more, we can click it on the right side of the mouse and we can add legend. Here is how it looks. It looks beautiful. Now we can go further with the presentation and I want to present uh, Gantt charts. First we go in insert, then elements, then Gantt timeline. Then we have to drag it here. And here is how it looks. First, I want to say that um, I will explain only the basics and nothing more. Um, for example, 
we can click here and we can choose our open calendar and we can choose for example that we want from 1st October until 1st March next year that we want that range from 1st October till here so how it looks we have October, November, December, January, February until 1st March then we can choose our activity Titicite activity for example double click Okay, first activity is, for example, planning. Second activity can be budgeting. Then marketing. then controlling then we can say uh, next activity can be education and this activity we don't we don't want to have for example and we can delete it so what we want in this planning we can choose timeline you can see how it goes we can choose when we want to start with our planning for example we can say here then click on the right side and then choose for example this new milestone or you can say that new process for budgeting starts in November then you have to click here new process and you can see that that can be until start until first first January then for example marketing can be from 15 October and we can say that this new process of marketing until end of February and so on what you can do you can go here and you can add responsible label column who is responsible uh, here is uh, uh, on the German verantwortlich who is responsible for planning we can say Maya Maya for budgeting we can say Daria and so on what we can do now we can go on the right click and we can add remark label column in this column we can see or we can put this checkbox we can uncheck it if you, we want so it goes that are the basics what you have to know about Gantt charts and um, Tinksell text boxes.